Hi everyone, it's Shannon and welcome to today's video. So I'm very excited because I finally got my Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Divine Bronzers or whatever they're called. I ordered two, very excited. Now, originally I wasn't going to order them, but the more I saw them, the more I really kind of just wanted them. And then when I was looking, they did offer a kind of a pack of two, so it was a little bit discounted. So these came out to, they were, no, these bronzers are $39, but the pack of two, I believe was 70, and then there was 10% off, so it was like 63. So they came out to like 31.50. So yeah, it's like a bargain, right? But uh, yeah, so I ended up purchasing two. I got um, the Duo 002, which has the shades, um, let's see, Bronze, Dawn, and Nude Honey. So gonna take a look at them. Now, one of these is the one neutral shade. There's eight. One of these is the neutral shade, and then the next one is like the third shade. But I'm gonna go over thing, everything right now. So as I mentioned, these are called the Skin Fetish Divine Bronzer, and it says, Introducing Skin Fetish Divine Bronzer, the ultimate tool for sculpting and defining radiant beauty with the power of the sun. This micro velvet powder bronzer is luck luxuriously soft and infused with glimmering luminosity for a sun-kissed glow that lasts all day. So there's eight, there's a bunch of other stuff that says, but there's eight shades. Um, I purchased two. So again, I purchased this, the Duo, which was 002, which comes with the shade, the second, lightest shade and the third shade so the shades let me just go through all the shades right now first there is um, naked desire which is a soft golden bronze nude honey a neutral bronze bronze dawn a warm golden bronze then you have bronze nirvana warm tanned bronze desert glow a tanned bronze with sparkling golden pearl that's the only one that has any sort of luminosity then there's bronze divinity a terracotta bronze burnished honey warm amber bronze and then bronze mahogany a neutral rich bronze so as i mentioned i have nude honey and Div uh, bronze dawn so let's go first take a look at nude honey and nude honey is the neutral shade so the reason why i I decided to kind of purchase these was I figured this one as I could use as a contour and then I could use the other one as a bronzer and that's kind of how I'm going to try them today so here is nude honey I have not even swatched them yet because I wanted to do it on camera but um, if they're anything compared to the blushes I love the blushes so again this is nude honey this is the neutral bronze and then we have bronze dawn which is the third one and this is right here so it's pretty light I mean this is the third I heard a couple people that got the lightest shade and said it was too light um to me it just looked too light in on in the pictures and there are other people that did purchase it and they said it was way too light that they were going to be returning it so that is the two and you can do a side by side comparison and i'll be doing swatches later on so you can kind of see those so this is the one that's definitely a little warmer and then of course the boxes are beautiful now i think i'm the only person that doesn't keep the boxes everybody else keeps their pat mcgrath boxes i don't i don't like clutter i don't need boxes i don't want to reach for my makeup i don't want to have to take it out of a box as well but they're really pretty um and then if you look they're very uh similar to the blushes so here is nude venus so i mean you're just they're gonna look exactly the same um which is um I, fortunately i keep my bronzers and my blushes in a different drawer but when i'm traveling that could be a little you know chaotic um and then kind of comparing them in the pan the pan size is the same so gives you a little bit of comparison uh today but let's go ahead and do some first impressions of these new bronzers from pat mcgrath Okay, so I went ahead and pulled my hair back, but let's do a couple swatches before we dig into them. And uh, first we'll start with Nude Honey. So uh, I hate doing this with the embossing because I love, I love the crown. But uh, so this is Nude Honey. Ooh, that's so silk. It's just so silky. It is so smooth. It goes on so nice. Okay, and next to it, we're gonna go in with Bronze Dawn. So very much you can see that this one's definitely warmer definitely more neutral so that's the comparison they're very very similar but they definitely have a difference so if you are going to pick up two um, to me i think this is great because i was able to get there's only one neutral shade of all the eight and there's only one with shimmer so um the shimmer i thought was going to be too dark for me i probably could have made it work but um i really didn't really want one with shimmer anyway 
but I could always use a neutral one to use more as contour. So let's go ahead and get started with that. And I'm gonna go in with my rougher number four, which has a little angle. I use this a lot for, um, for contour. And I'm just gonna go in, and I am wearing the Nude Venus, and that goes on really, really nice. Very pigmented, but blends out really, really nice. Okay, gonna go in on the other side over here. And again, just goes on really, really nice. Um, just smooth, butter, blends out. I mean, I have, again, I really wasn't going to purchase these, but I don't regret purchasing them. Okay, so that is Nude Honey, and that is the neutral shade, can be a contour. Now you could use this as a bronzer as well. I'm just going to use the other one today around the face to warm up the face. But um, I think this is, I just, I think this is a beautiful tone. It's smooth, it's beautiful, really, I, I mean, I didn't expect anything less from Pat McGrath. So not really surprised about the quality, but as far as the shade, I absolutely love it. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with Bronze Dawn. I'm gonna use my Ruffert number five. And again, I'm gonna go around the face and use it to kind of warm the face a little bit. And gonna go, ooh, that, that was a lot. <laughs> so, but as you can see, it blends out really, really nicely. So you wanna probably go in pretty light-handed because it does go on, it does pack quite a punch, but then it also blends out really nicely. Okay, so these applied beautifully, amazing. Um, they're, I would say a little powdery, but not very powdery, but absolutely stunning. I, I absolutely love them. So again, this is the Nude Honey. This is the Bronze Dawn. Now, um, as I did mention, they're $39, and if you can get two, they're $70. I don't know if the discount is still going on. I don't think it is, but um, if they do, and she has sales all the time, so if you're not in a hurry but you want them, then maybe I think they are going to be or are already at Sephora, so the Sephora sale's coming up. I only get 15% at Sephora, so I usually don't buy too much at the Sephora sale, but um, you know, if you are in the 20%, then maybe you can get some good things. But now they do have, let's see, there's seven of the duos. And if you're unsure of which shade, even if you're only going to purchase one shade, go over to the duo because on the duo, it will state like the first duo, which is the lightest shade, um, Naked Desire and Nude Honey. It'll say if you earn the, um, the foundation light one to light medium eight, this is a duo for you. And then the duo number two, which is the one that I got, it says this is um, for light five to light medium 12. Well, in the foundation, I am light medium eight. So it's stated that I could have done the first one or the second one but I chose the second one because I felt like you know I wanted a little bit more of a bronzer and I I think this one is perfect I think the lighter one would have been too light definitely use that tool even if you're only going to get one shade but um, I think they're beautiful now do I think they're uh, a must buy no a bronzer is never a must buy and what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to kind of swatch and compare some of the other bronzers that I do own and kind of compare as far as colors because I'm sure that I probably have already duped this in my own collection um, but do I think that these are high quality and worth the price absolutely and if you can get them at the 20% off during the Sephora sale or during a future Pat McGrath sale then absolutely do that but I do think that they're really great quality and um, um, you know, no surprise there. Okay, so I'm gonna compare each shade individually. So this is um, the Nude Honey. So this is the neutral shade. And then right here is going to be from the Sigma Beauty Palette um, Sculpt Palette. This is Faking It. It is the lightest contour shade. So very, very similar. Um, then we have the next two shades are from the Lorac Contour Palette. This is the light contour, this is the medium contour. So as you can see, these definitely have more of a cooler tone, especially the light contour. The next is the Tom Ford, and this is the Glow Bronzer in 2 Terra. And the next two shades are going to be Drugstore. So the second to last shade right here is the Matte Bronzer from LA Girl, um, Back to the Beach. And then the last one is from uh, L'Oreal. It's the Infallible Bronzer in 300 Light Medium. So that is the comparison. And again, this is the Pat McGrath. 
And there we have the comparisons. Okay, now we're gonna compare Bronze Dawn. So this is the Pat McGrath Bronze Dawn. This is the Charlotte Tilbury um, Airbrush Bronzer. This is medium, number two. Then we have the Sigma Matte Bronzer. This is also medium. Next, we have the one from M Cosmetics, which is the Sculpting Bronzing or Powder Bronzer in the shade Silhouette. Next, we have the Tom Ford uh, uh, in uh, two Terra. Then we have the one from LYS uh, Beauty. This is the Motivate Light. Then this is the one from the Elephant, uh, the Hourglass Elephant Palette. Uh, next we have, and then the final two are the two Drugstore. This is the one from LA Girl. And this is the one from L'Oreal, the Infallible 300 Light Medium. So those are the comparisons. I will say for this one, um, I think the, probably the closest is the Charlotte Tilbury or even the Sigma, but this one I think is a little bit harder to dupe or possibly the L'Oreal might even be the closest. Okay, so that is it for the comparisons. I will say as far as color matches, um, I think the Nude Honey was a little bit easier to dupe um, with the two contour palettes. Um, the Sculpt palette from Sigma Beauty and the Lorac, I think the light medium, the light shade was actually very close, um, but definitely completely different texture. The Pat McGrath is extremely creamy and it just goes on really nice. Um, as far as just kind of swatching, it probably swatched the cleanest, the easiest, the smoothest, of the the bronzers that I own um, the one that was probably the closest as far as being smooth was the LA girl like this one smooth like went on really nice but I mean that's swatches and that's different you know swatches and sometimes you know they go differently but um, there really wasn't any color dupes uh, and especially with the bronze dawn the bronze dawn I thought was a little bit more unique than anything else in my collection so um, quality wise I think it's you know, superb, definitely top of the line. Um, as far as color, no exact dupes, but there's enough and you can kind of see both high end and drugstore that you could, if you have something in your collection, you probably don't need this. Um, I will also say another good comparison as far as being smoothness is the one from Sigma. This is fairly new and I really haven't used it except once. And this went on really, really nice. So as did the the palette. Um, I really like that palette as well. So if you're looking for a less expensive option, I think these are 30. Um, so uh, not that much, but the palette is I think 30 on sale right now. So you could get like three shades plus three highlighter shades. But um, you, I think you're also not going to be disappointed with these. But definitely no dupes as far as shade. Definitely no dupes in regards to formula. But the shades, I think you're going to see very little difference. Now, as far as longevity, I don't know yet because I haven't worn it. But I know with the blushes, it seems to be a very similar formula to the blushes. And the blushes do last me, you know, all day. So very excited. Happy I purchased them. Do you need them? No. Um, if you need a bronzer, then yeah, definitely worth the money. But look at the comparisons that I had because you might have something in your collection where you don't need these. But I think they're definitely worth it. So, you know, again, I wasn't gonna buy them and then I just kind of was like, yeah, I really want them. And again, because of the quality, I'm not upset that I have them. But with that, I do have the quad coming. The quad, I did purchase the quad. Um, I just have not, it has not been shipped yet. And I don't think any, it's been shipped for anybody yet. So hopefully it'll be shipped and will get to me soon because um, I am anxious for that one. That was, I don't buy every Pat McGrath quad, but that one just, um, I probably can dupe all the shades with uh, the rest of my Pat McGrath collection, but I, I still wanted it. But with that, if you like this video, click like, click and subscribe. That way you get a notification every time I post a new video. Bye everyone.